Did you consider this life for stress? Let's put an end to that. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Belema Ogulu and I create beauty, lifestyle and influencer content. If that's something that you think they're going to be into or you just really like my vibe, feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the gang. I would really love to have you in my corner of the internet. If you're a returning subscriber, eh. <laughs> hi welcome back to the channel i asked people to send in the advice that they have for their younger selves if they could give their younger self advice on love dating relationships all of that what would they say and i got some really really good advice so we're going to be doing my makeup and we'll be going through that today so i already did my eyebrows and i color corrected off camera i was going in with the elsa's pro foundation in shade camel the very first piece of advice that i have here which i think is super solid is my darling focus on you new attention should not define your confidence and listen zero lies told there's something about being young <laughs> so i'm talking like i'm not young i mean now that i'm older and i look at my younger self and kind of things i did kind of people i dated i'm just like Ugh. Um, that is quite an embarrassment from everything she said the part that i really like is the focus on you like when you're busy focusing on yourself and paying attention to yourself the attention of the next man doesn't really that's not really what we're about over here okay i'm going to be concealing my face with the yanga beauty smooth match concealer in shade smc4 all right so the next piece of solid advice i got was love is not enough this particular piece of advice is broken into three right first one being love is not enough if we're defining love how the bible defines it i believe that love is very very much enough but if it's according to what people as in <laughs> the feeling of love then of course that's not enough so according to the bible love is patient and kind love does not envy or boast it is not arrogant or rude it does not insist on its own way it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and love never ends. From the Bible, love is more of an action word than it is a feeling. I'm just going to blend out my concealer using my beauty blender. I think this was from, yeah, this is from Beauty by Jones. They're a Nigerian and Canadian brand. So if you're in Canada and you're in Nigeria, you should definitely cop some Beauty by Jones products. I use their blender lipstick lip gloss brow pencil mascara and they have these two cute lipsticks they're so freaking cute you guys you have to check them out they're called bonnie and clyde it's one nude one and one red one so freaking cute okay so the next one is don't settle for less because of love see eh? if you're really being honest with yourself in whatever situation you're in you just know when nah this is not working <laughs> and you always know it in your heart when you, a relationship just isn't it for you but many times we stay and i still don't know why honestly i still don't know why because when you come out of that relationship you just be like what the hell was i even doing there in the first place and i knew i knew that this was a rubbish man but i still stayed why because i like long suffering anyway the point of don't settle for less i agree 100 percent because oh god forbid bro and don't get me wrong settling for less doesn't mean compromising on your list right settling for less just means that you know you deserve so much better and you can do so much better than this person but you're settling because maybe you're in your early 30s or you're in your late 20s everybody's getting married and um, what else you're lonely that is not enough reason to settle for what you know you don't deserve okay and i mean this in the kindest way possible and again your less might be somebody's cup of tea or your less is somebody's cup of tea however as for you and your household you have decided that what you will not settle for less so if somebody is moving mad or if somebody is acting in the direct opposite way you know you want your husband or your your wife to act please dear yeah, that's not the one for you okay so next i'm going to be contouring my face using the younger beauty smooth match concealer so the third piece of advice is your happiness comes first i agree with this point 100 percent for different reasons actually but one of them being you cannot give what you do not have if you're not in a good place if you're not happy then you cannot have a happy relationship if somebody doesn't make you happy please you are not a tree you are not stuck anywhere okay please leave okay please don't wait till they tell you your money will come <laughs> before you will leave please just leave i promise you staying will not help you in any way you will just experience loss on a different level you will lose yourself you will lose things you will lose money you will lose friends you will lose, ah 
please it's not worth it yeah please if that situation does not make you happy and i don't mean fickle happiness i mean genuinely when you think of this person or when you're around this person or when your relation when you think of a relationship with this person does it fuel your happiness or does it take from your happiness how many times in a week do you spend crying how many times in a week do you spend laughing think about all these things i beg if the mass is not massing i beg bounce so please please it's not worth it i promise you and then you know how when you're dating somebody and when the person is giving you something that maybe you've never had before you feel like oh my god nobody else ever loved me like this or oh we've come so far oh please 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 <laughs> dead or that rubbish thoughts is from the devil okay somebody else will find you somebody else will treat you way better see bro <laughs> trust me someone else will find you someone else will treat you better even way beyond what you even thought when god sends you that person that your person what you were thinking is that here what the person comes to the table with you cannot comprehend it so please my dear if you're in a rubbish situation leave if you're in a situation that doesn't make you happy bounce like see you are too young eh you are too young whether you're a guy or a babe you are too young hmm? if anybody is because you're stress okay please <laughs> why did you not come to this life for stress did you come to this life for stress i did not so <laughs> i mean please if you're in any situation that is not that is not fueling your happiness that is not adding to you that is not making you feel good that is taking and taking and taking and taking from you <laughs> can you take your leave <laughs> raise up your hand and excuse yourself from the class okay i'm going to be using the rubellite cosmetics loose setting powder if you watched any of my makeup videos before this then you know that this is my <laughs> this setting powder in shade pumpkin <laughs> yeah it's actually in shade pumpkin i don't know if you guys can see but anyway love it reverse cosmetics is onto something and i'm not sharing the secrets with everybody else <laughs> anyway so the next piece of advice is take it easy you don't have to settle for a guy that isn't serious about you 110 percent i agree because one thing i've learned is you cannot love somebody into loving you and settling is never to your benefit <laughs> let's put an end to accepting rubbish simply because we are bored or we are lonely okay let's just not do that we've passed that level come on we have you not passed that level we have so i 100 percent agree with this piece of advice take it easy <laughs> see at 20 what now what am i 26 turning 27 in <laughs> september october november december january let's see in four months and some change i can tell you that <laughs> relax <laughs> okay relax take it easy cool down love is not going anywhere okay come relax it's enough okay relax take your time date for the fun of it enjoy yourself next up i'm going to be highlighting and contouring again with my powder palette from flawless ivy you guys flawless ivy has really really amazing products i slept on this brand for almost one year they sent me a package and for some reason i just never used anything in it but i just started using their products recently and bro amazing i slept on you guys flawless ivy i am sorry and i stand corrected <laughs> next piece of advice is date for fun and experiences not always just married <laughs> i say i should have been the one to write this <laughs> when i tell you that dating for marriage eh, i mean ah, i don't know how to say this in a way that doesn't make younger people ah, see eh? even if you're dating for marriage you still keep an open mind because when you get into a relationship with the whole this is my husband mentality hmm? You overlook a lot of rubbish you just for some reason cannot see that you are with an idiot until you come out of it and sometimes when you come out you come out with scars mistakes you know all these things are unnecessary so yes i 100 percent agree with this when you want to date somebody eh, even though you know that you're going to marry this person or you would like to marry this person let them prove themselves to you first because you have validated them already in your mind by saying okay this probably somebody that i can get married to but let them prove themselves to you first it's not easy to be a husband what is the word prove yourself to me i can't just i don't know you from anywhere you like me yes cool but then and and what i like me too another thing about dating for marriage is that you see but you ignore a lot of the foolishness of people when you date solely to get married because you already have it at the back of your mind that oh this person i'm dating is my husband you overlook foolishness you over <laughs> you overlook intense manipulation foolish behavior more things that the other person is doing and you end up just focusing on what you want to see and everybody and their mother would tell you that 
this person is not it though this person is not you will even beef your friends and family members on top of this person's head but then all along you were the real idiots you were the real fool that was waiting for marriage <laughs> and not open your eyes to see what was in front of you just date for the fun of it and then if the person so happens to meet your criteria for marriage and the person proves themselves to you then oh well i'm good if they don't on to the next okay you cannot date with that um i must marry this person or i would die mentality uh -uh, uh -uh, please 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 we don't do that over here <laughs> anymore <laughs> yeah that was some solid advice i i agree with that 100 percent. the next piece of advice is focus on happiness solid focus on happiness is also a very good piece of advice because if you're focusing on what makes you happy when you see what does not make you happy you will run nobody will have to tell you anything you yourself will carry yourself and you will run <laughs> you will find your square roots because you already know that mm, nah this is not pleasing me or my home girls so yeah it's a wrap from here <laughs> like you will just know that mm, <laughs> this ain't working out and you pack your bags and you go the earlier the better <laughs> okay this person says when it's right it's right and listen i 100 percent agree with this i think that it is fact when it is right you know you don't have to stress you see the ease of it is what will let you know that okay yes i think that i'm onto something here different people have different ways of knowing what is you know what is good for them but for me anything that i have to struggle too much for or anything that causes me too much discomfort that's how i know it's not for me and except i'm those being a mumu i should stand up and leave so let me just do my liner and lashes off camera and i'll be back in a bit so i'm done with my lashes <laughs> and my liner <laughs> I wish I remember where I got these lashes from, but I don't remember. I would, if, if I do remember, I'll put it in the description box down below. So back to our advice. The next piece of advice, which I think is also very solid, is take the other person's maybe, not sure, or I'm still thinking as a no. Listen, hmm? someone told me something one day, and the person said, when a man wants to be with you, or when somebody, whoever, wants to be with you, you will know instantly and if you're confused and that person doesn't want to be with you and listen of all the truths i have heard that is one very true truth when a when a man loves you yeah you will never have to really question does he love me or does he not love me does he does he care or does he not care um am i doing too much because you know why he will reassure you every day every day through his actions or his words he will reassure you that you are in the right place you are protected you are provided for and you have nothing to worry about and that's one thing that i have learned and so my dear if anybody's giving you mixed signals oh i'm not really ready for a relationship yet i'm not ready to settle down can you come eh. it's a lie so that you know how you are doing yourself because if you really believe that one day oh this man just wake up and see that i'm the best thing to ever happen to him it happens but by the time that happens you'll be over it like you'll be so over the relationship you'll be so over the person you'll just be like a bit so yeah if you're in that talking stage with someone and they're giving you mixed signals maybe i don't know i might be i'm in the middle of i'm a shaking con a big <laughs> bounce <laughs> okay i will be going with my mac dark deep bronzer for my face just to add a little bit of definition so the next piece of advice is don't stay in your shell so bad stop being so scared it won't help you wear your confidence proudly hmm. i think that for people that are very introverted and tend to keep to themselves a lot that is some solid advice because are you going to download your husband from facebook or instagram no now you have to go outside okay don't stay in your shell for too long another angle to this is if they broke your heart please do oh, please cry your cry and stand up and dust your shoe and be moving no please i beg don't go and be crying for two and a half years over <laughs> over one hour's break please eh okay just <laughs> i beg what has happened has happened we move <laughs> let me tell you a hack that i <laughs> amazing this is african queen palette first of all see i love it so much this is like the most functional makeup palette i have if i have to go anywhere i'm carrying this palette with me so i use the orange shade this guy as blush let me show you what it looks like i just love how it's applies and how it looks it just it looks so pretty to me i love it so much anyway next piece of advice take your time working on yourself going through multiple relationships at such a young age ages your heart and spirit way too quickly focus on building yourself your friendships date for fun 
marriage is a lifelong commitment take your time to make sure you do everything in your power to do it right hmm i love that do you think about to work on yourself you cannot accept too much rubbish after you've worked on yourself because you'll be like mm -mm, mm -mm. as for me and my home girls this is not working out and we're not accepting this when you work on yourself there's a level of there's a level of nonsense <laughs> that you'll not be able to tolerate you'll just be like oh, what no so definitely taking your time to work on yourself even helps you to know who you are with the kind of man that you want to be with or woman that you want to be with because this advice is not one-sided because women so we got our own there's a whole other person also saying dates for fun marriage is a lifelong commitment so take your time i swear let me tell you guys yeah there was somebody that was dating that i was like ah god i think this person is my husband not because they did anything to prove to me that they are husband material no but because i said okay i prayed about this whole marriage thing right and i was like the next person i date will be my husband so ah I went into that next relationship. I never always forgot to say yes. Next person you date is your husband, or no, the next person you date will be yet another lesson because I want you to learn one or two things. No, I entered that relationship with ah, this is my husband. So even before he end husband rights, he already got husband treatment, which he did not deserve, and <laughs> that just made me stretch myself out so thin and just not see a lot of rubbish that was going on right under my nose. And you know the crazy thing, everybody else in your life will see it except you. And that's why dating with that whole, oh, this is my husband mentality. Ah, no, don't do it. You see, eh? even if God told you before that, okay, this is the person that you're going to get married to. Hmm? He will confirm it. If you, if you need confirmation, who was that person in the Bible that told God, how many times, let the fleas be wet, let the floor not be wet, let the floor be wet, let the fleas not be wet. He will confirm it over and over and over again. All I get into a relationship with husband already on your mind are big. Yeah? Are big don't do it let's leave that as mistakes we made in our early 20s <laughs> eh? let's leave that as last year's mistake or last month's mistake okay as from now moving forward please dead it and especially when they're not acting accordingly please don't 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 behave like you're blind because you're not blind god did give you eyes and gave you eyes so you can see okay open them and look at the situation that you're in for what it is okay yeah, i have to agree that was on that very solid piece of advice someone else said <laughs> don't fall in love too easily i feel like that's very much easier said than done there's some people that fall in love very easily because they didn't grow up in a loving home or they didn't get that love and affection and they're just constantly chasing it right so wherever they say they follow but i promise you that if you're able to get your mind to a place where every day you're just focusing on giving yourself all that love that you want someone else to give you i mean practical things though like you want a man to buy you flowers sit down on instagram and other flowers for yourself you also want to take you out on a date Order yourself a nice dress, shoes, do your makeup, beat that face till it's long. <laughs> and go out on a date, solo dates, you know, do things that you want other people to give you. I can tell you that when I stopped wanting other people to do things for me, like when, when I stopped expecting or when I stopped waiting for a man to do things for me is when like I actually stepped into myself. Don't fall in love too easily, except you're falling in love too easily with yourself. That's it. This is my favorite nude lipstick at the moment, by the way. It's called Bamboo from Hega and Esther. So I'm going in with the Flawless IV, ooh, Flawless IV Hydrating Mist Setting Spray. Hmm. All right. You know me, I like for my face to be dripping. If it's not dripping, <laughs> I don't want it <laughs> okay so while we're waiting for my face to dry let's just go through the rest of the advice that we have so there's <laughs> no be everything you go tell your partner some things are better left unsaid mm. ah, oh my god this is such a ah this is such a tricky one because on one hand i would say that it depends on who your partner is if your partner is somebody that you know has sense if your partner is somebody that you're planning to do forever with i think that there are certain things that ha ah, no oh my god it's such a tricky one <laughs> let me lie i agree to a large extent and i disagree again because i believe that if you're dating somebody that is responsible that keeps themselves them that keeps themselves accountable ah, that keeps himself or herself accountable to you by telling you everything then i feel like you should reciprocate and tell the person everything that they need to know <laughs> how do i explain this okay I used to be a strong believer of not disclosing your finances. I don't want to know how much you're making. I don't want you to know how much I'm making. Let's just day our day. We just know that, okay, this person is handling rent. This person is handling groceries. This person is doing this, this, and that. Don't worry about how much I make and how much you're making. But I've now grown to realize that, okay, 
in order to have a stable home, mm, finances are going to be, you're going to have to be as transparent as you need to be when it comes to finances. It was something that took me a minute to process and to get used to, but then at the end of the day, that's an area where my mind has changed when it comes to sharing things with your partner. Mm, my face is still drying a bit, so I just let it sit for a little bit. Okay, I'll praise my younger self for not falling for peer pressure and the likes. Oh, that's nice. If you are one of the people that are keeping yourself for your husband or you are, you know, choosing to do things differently from the way everyone else in the world is doing it, kudos to you and um, that's very very good and very very commendable so keep it going because it's not easy i know it's not easy to 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 withstand peer pressure it's not easy when everybody's saying oh everybody's doing this or oh it's i mean what's the big deal oh eh? so you are still ah, okay oh, you know all those kind of things i know it's not easy but is definitely worth it. So next advice is healthy relationships are products of never-ending intentionality and I could not agree more. I promise you that the more intentional you are with your relationship, the healthier your relationship is. Don't ever use yesterday's goodness or, or yesterday, I bought, I, yesterday I bought him food now so today I don't have to buy him food again. You have to always act like yesterday never happened and you have to refresh your love for your partner every day. So yeah, I agree with healthy relationships are products of never-ending intentionality. You just have to continue to be intentional. And then the thing is, you have to show up every day. You might not always show up as a hundred. You might show up as twenty some days. On some days, they are just like, God, I beg. God, I beg. Oh, oh go help. Oh. <laughs> I mean, on some days, it's like, mm. But then, on other days, you show up, you know, completely hundred. But the important thing is that you're showing up for your partner every day. The last piece of advice we have here is relax, boo. Relationship doesn't define you, and you don't need to be in one to be happy with yourself. Amen. I know that's right. <laughs> anyway, yes, I 100% agree with this. Really, a relationship should never define you. I know that that is so much easier said than done because certain people are actually defined by the relationships that they're in. If they're not dating. You just feel like ah, something is wrong or something is not right. It's really not that deep if you're not in a relationship or if you're in a relationship. If you find what you like, hmm? if you find what you really love doing and you enjoy it with yourself, I promise you, relationship is lasting in your mind. You are not really. If it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, mm, you don't really care. It doesn't bother you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more chit chat, get ready with me videos, then let me know in the comments. This look is given. It's giving everything it's supposed to give and more. Okay, a baby girl is a baby girl. What do we think? What do we think? <laughs> Alright, you guys, bye. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.